Well, big high pressure across the southeast this afternoon, giving us tons of sunshine wall to wall, and we'll continue to see a nice uh, sunny end to our Valentine's Day here. Here's a live look in New Bern at the Tryon Palace. A little bit breezy out there at times. You see the flag flying, uh, but what a great afternoon to head out for any uh, dinner dates or afternoon lunch dates here. Temperatures 57 degrees right now there in New Bern, 58 in Jacksonville, 59 in Beaufort, and we'll Climb up a few more degrees here. Highs today will be near 60. That's just about where we should be for this time of the year. About a seasonable afternoon for our Valentine's Day. And like I said, it is still a little bit breezy at times here, gusting up to 15, 20 miles per hour at times, especially along the coast. But as high pressure builds overhead, we'll see those winds drastically diminish late tonight. And that's going to allow temperatures to fall pretty quickly. So any late night plans, if you're out and about for Valentine's Day, you're going to certainly need that jacket after sunset here. Overnight lows generally into the low to mid 30s inland could see a little bit of patchy frost on the windshields tomorrow morning. But other than that cold start, we're going to see another really nice afternoon for us here tomorrow with a few more clouds, a few high clouds. But again, southerly winds will start to pick up high moves offshore we will be into the low 60s to mid 60s tomorrow. And we even continue that into our Friday as well as that high continues to move offshore. We'll be tracking a disturbance sliding in from the north. We will bring back in more clouds Friday and then lingering into the weekend. A quick moving system to our north could give us a couple spotty showers earlier in the day on Saturday, but I think it's running into a moisture starved atmosphere. So most of us will be dry for this weekend, but the temperature will be noticeably different throughout the morning on Saturday. Temperatures will become much colder. We'll be struggling to get out of the 40s all weekend long with uh, temperatures near freezing every night. So chilly weekend if you're extending your Valentine's Day plans into the weekend. Just prepare for that, but temperatures rebound pretty nicely heading into next week. We're back to near normal, so not a bad stretch of weather here for us. ECU kicks off their baseball home and opener, home opener Friday. Great weather for that Daytona 500. We're dry and chilly here, but we will be tracking some heavy rain uh, for the start of that Daytona 500.